Good morning, my little YouTubers. It's good to see you. Today is November 22nd. It's a Sunday. <sighs> I'm kind of lost in getting behind on videos and going out and buying things for resale. It's just like, it's turned into a mad mess and I've got that, that kind of overwhelmed feeling. But um, today, I'm going to list. I'm just going to list. I'm going to try to list like crazy and try to get myself somewhat caught up. Because I've been doing a lot of sourcing. And some of this you have already seen. But I just wanted to give you a quick overview. Uh, some tennis rackets. An old clock. An old KitchenAid kettle. Some corningware. A massager. Uh, some of this you've already seen. Some of these Tervis cups. I'm excited about this. Here, 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 here. Eight sets of vintage sheets that are all um, brand new, never used. Uh, I still haven't gotten to list the. Um, why can I never think of those sewing machine names? Uh, I've got bags of stuff in here. Uh, bears that I've I've just recently bought. And over a hundred and... I think, I, I think it's about a hundred and eighty uh, blown glass unicorns and elephants. Um, and then over here, I've got this whole box of stuff I haven't gone through. This big thing is a... Uh, um, a fountain that my mom gave me. This all this stuff came from my mom's as well. But all of that stuff, uh, a lot of it will go on um, Facebook Marketplace. And then I still have a defibrillator over here. Not a defibrillator, but a CPAP machine over there. And so it's just like. And then just look at the garage. This is a whole another story that I'm not even going to get into. But like the garage is no more. Uh, so, yeah, I'm a little overwhelmed. Things are a little crazy, but I'm going to get some stuff listed today, today, and I'll come back around and post what's what I've found and what I've bought and uh, the items I'm listing, and we'll look at pricing and cost versus selling prices and all that. So, thanks for joining us. See you. Oops. I don't think I even introduced myself in the last little clip there. I'm Kevin with the Kevin and Anna Show. And I'm a part-time reseller, part-time picker, a part-time flipper, and a part-time flopper. I like to show you guys the things that flop as well as the things that do well. So stay tuned. I'll have some flops for you, I'm sure. So this little guy is an old school vintage retro Linden, L-I-N-D-E-N, -E alarm clock. Uh, it's a wind up, uh, and I've checked it all the time and everything. It, all the functions work, the alarm, everything else. Uh, so that piece is a cool little piece to sell. Picked it up uh, yesterday at an estate sale. And paid a buck for that and just listed it for $26.99. Uh, one sold recently. There's not a lot of comps on this exact model. But one sold recently uh, for $29.99 plus shipping. So I shot mine on there for $26.99 plus shipping to uh, hopefully move it quickly. And uh, yeah, cool little piece. Next, I got this little uh, Mickey Mouse mug. It's nice because it's got raised areas on it, uh, and it's oversized. Like if you compared it to the penny there, you know, a regular mug is more like this, and that's a whopper. Anyway, the downside is it weighs a pound and a half after being packed, and so shipping on it is going to be expensive, but I hope that doesn't uh, deter anybody from buying. Nonetheless, I picked this up at my... Local Goodwill, 50 cents, just listed it for $5.99 plus shipping. Here's the next item I just listed, and I've already boxed it up, but I mean, you can see it is exactly that. Uh, this LaserLine stackable um, CD 
or video DVD case and these are pretty good sellers uh, laser line is a good brand and I picked this up at my local Goodwill for three dollars and uh, especially with it having its original box that's always a plus as you probably all well know anyway paid three dollars for it and uh, just listed it what did I list it for I think honestly I think I could have gotten uh, more than uh, what I'm listing it for but today I am just listing things to hopefully you know keep the uh, the store active and keep things moving so I honestly think I could have got with the box on that $29.99 but I went ahead and listed it for $22.99 now some of that's because of the the buying price now if I'd have paid eight bucks for that you know um, I wouldn't have listed it for $22.99 but I vary you know with the way I do things at times and today I'm feeling like Let's make a decent profit on the items, and if the buyer gets a good deal, uh, better than, you know, most, hey, good for all of us. So, anyway, there's the next one. Moving on. Here's the next item I listed. Two Wonder Woman uh, pint glasses, 16-ounce glasses, rather. Uh, now they won't spin. But they got better pictures on the outsides, on the other sides of the glasses. And I put those pictures in the listing as well and then spun the glasses around to show the other pictures. Anyway, I picked these up at my local Goodwill for um, 3 bucks, and I uh, just listed them for $10.99 plus shipping. Alright, so the next item here is a Berkshire Throw Peanuts. This is a limited edition, let's see if I can get a better shot, a limited edition Snoopy in space. And then he's got little wood stuck up here on the blanket as well. Anyway, uh, these are good sellers, guys. Um, if you find uh, them in, in new good condition, um, you know, and obviously can get them at a, at a decent price, then, you know, they're, they're, they're desired, they're, they're sought after. So I wouldn't go as far to call it a bolo, but, you know, a kind of bolo. Uh, anyway, I picked that up at our Goodwill. Um, I paid up on that. It was $15, um, but comps on it uh, are anywhere from like 28 to 40 and because this one is considered limited edition, I didn't go high end. Again, I'm looking to uh, to to move things today. Again, just my current mood. But um, these are um, I listed this one for thirty two ninety nine plus shipping. So next item, I picked this up at that uh, estate sale yesterday. This is estate sale that I keep talking about was actually uh, it was not ran by an estate sale company and there's pros and cons to that I won't get into it but uh, this was one of the pros he gave me these straws 1972 carnival drinking straws got a uh, clown on it and you can see there are there is some uh, writing somebody wrote with a pen on it but nonetheless um, you know minus that uh, they're, they're pretty cool, pretty good condition, you know, overall, considering their age. Uh, I counted them, it's supposed to be 100 straws, I counted them, and there are 97 straws left, so it's almost complete, but I put in the, um, auction, or in the listing, about the, you know, pen work, as well as about, you know, close to 97 straws. And of course, I said, you know, don't don't quote me on that. I could be off by a few because I don't want to meet somebody coming back and saying, man, there was only 96 straws in there. I want a refund. Yeah, so, you know, protect yourselves. But anyway, I thought that was a really neat find. I love selling this vintage stuff like this. And I uh, listed that. I paid a dollar for it um, at the at the estate sale. And I just listed them for $14.99 plus shipping. Here's a t-shirt I just listed. Picked that up at uh, like a Ross or a, I think TJ Maxx actually. And I like to sell these there. You see at retail suggested manufacturer's retail, 26 bucks. I paid $8 for it. Men's size medium. And I uh, listed that for $19.99 with free shipping. So uh, if for any of you that have been watching my show at all, you know, I've kind of gone nuts on uh, 
retail arbitrage t-shirts at places like TJ Maxx and I've got quite a collection of them over 50 shirts there so they sell uh, they're not fast movers um, but uh, they have been selling once in a while I'll, I'll sell one so uh, I'm gonna slow down that's all I'm not buying any more t-shirts and hopefully those will start to process through so we'll see but uh, anyway got two more t-shirts to list I'll show you those real quick next same thing I'm not even gonna say anything I'm just gonna flash the next two pictures up on the screen same thing they were like seven eight bucks maybe six bucks and I'll list them all for $19.99 with free shipping here's the next one another men's medium here's the next one good old Bart and family there's the last one it's a Mandalorian the child. Now something I do here to keep it new with tags this one doesn't come with anything but a TJ Maxx tag so I cut it off. Now is that risky? A eh, little bit. You never know what a buyer is going to say. Technically it's right but then again it depends on your perspective. Nonetheless uh, that's what I do. I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just saying that's what I do and thus far in my experience I haven't had any issues. That's all the t-shirts. We'll see what else I'm going to list. So this little guy is the next thing I just listed. It's called Copper Chef, Copper Chef Perfect Egg Maker. Uh, it's an as seen on TV product and I found this at Goodwill. Uh, picked it up, just tested it. Wiped it off, cleaned it, everything's good on it. Actually, I burnt my finger. <laughs> but um, it's ready to rock and roll. And, um, you know, pricing on these is typically around $20 plus shipping. Some of them are selling for $35, $45 with free shipping. Uh, but, again, moving things today. So I listed this one at $16.99. Uh, plus shipping so again oh I didn't tell you but I paid two dollars for this so um, you know it'll be a nice little profit maybe a ten dollar profit once it's all said and done um, there we go all right here's my next item I picked these up yesterday at that estate sale um, they're called Tervis tumblers and these were really popular not too long ago a couple years ago I don't know I'm dated so maybe five years ago um, but they keep drinks hot and cold. They're dishwasher safe. And I've got only one with the lid. But judging by the stickers, I listed it. I listed the whole auction as used or the whole listing as used. But I put in the description there's a mixed lot. This one's new. Still has lid taped on it. Yada yada. They Several have the stickers on the bottom. So what I did was, there you go, the two that do not have the Turva stickers or the stickers on the bottom, I identified those as used. So I got two used and three brand new. Um, I paid $3 at the um, uh, estate sale yesterday and I just listed them for $24.99 plus shipping. So there's the next one. Ignore the dress to the left. I'm getting ready to list that. But these are two vintage um, Chris Everett wooden tennis rackets, probably from the 80s. They don't really say. And I didn't put a lot of um, research into these because just a very generic search shows them, you know, some of them $7.99, blah, 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 uh, not selling, you know. So this might have been a bad investment. But I did see a set of them, a pair of them, sell for $24.99 not too long ago and these are really in excellent condition only a few little scrapes and whatnot uh, throughout so um, I went ahead and listed them for $24.99 plus shipping and we'll see what happens there next I'm gonna list this dress and hope it doesn't get returned so I've just gotten in a rush because um, you know it's getting dark out it's late I've been out here you know bouncing back and forth out here and inside all day doing this that and the other but focusing my day out here so I'm trying to 
feel like I'm crunching at the end to get things done. So anyway, the dress that I was just showing, that you just saw in the last one, uh, I forgot to give you an update on that after I um, listed it, as well as this one. So the dress, Calvin Klein dress, size 12, it was just thrown in at a, um, at a yard sale where I picked up a rainbow vacuum. And a rainbow's under the table there, but we're not going through anything else that I haven't, you know, I'm not going through anything specifics that I haven't listed today. Um, but anyway, I listed that for $9.99 um, plus shipping. Uh -oh, one of my light batteries is going dead. So, um, so yeah, that one got listed. And then these are um, Boyd's Bears and Friends. Boyd's Bears, very popular. They don't sell nearly as well as they used to. But if you find a decent niche kind of thing, then uh, they'll do okay. And this set of four is from The Wizard of Oz. They're posable um, bears. They're not plush they're whatever you call like resin type material and uh, of course it's got all four Scarecrow, Dorothy, Tin Man and the Lion and I paid $20 for these at a lady's uh, um, house and uh, just listed them for $49.99 plus shipping That's it. I'm done. I've gotten all the listings listed that I'm going to list today. But I am going to go inside and start comping uh, in my last video, which was a really crappy video, guys. Sorry about that. But anyway, um, I went to, to a yard sale and scored a bunch of Mary Kay stuff for um, pennies on the dollar. So that was awesome. Looks like I've gotten about uh, 16 items listed today. So, that's pretty cool. Had ran into some hardships with various things. Uh, of course, that doesn't always get filmed. You don't see that side. Uh-oh. Got another light getting ready to die. But here's the Mary Kay stuff. Um, so, I'm going to go inside and start comping this. I can't remember. I think there's about maybe... 30 to 40 pieces in here. It's quite a bit. My wife got very excited when I showed it to her. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm going to go inside and I'm going to comp all of this and make a list so it'll be easy for me to list. And then, you know, obviously grab pictures and everything else and uh, get that stuff listed the next time I list. Maybe tonight, but more than likely... It'll be, it'll be uh, sometime this week, tomorrow, or sometime later this week. But anyway, really appreciate you guys stopping by to, to hang out, to watch the video. I hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, stay tuned. I'll have another video out soon. Hopefully, I don't get stuck in these ruts where I miss like a whole week without filming, because then I try, or a whole week without editing either, because then I try to go back and... And do all of that, and man, oh man, does it become stressful and overwhelming for me when I have life going on. But anyway, you guys take care. It was great hanging with you, and I will see you next time. See ya! Say goodbye. Goodbye! You gotta look at the camera and say it. Maisie. Maisie, look at the camera and say goodbye. Goodbye! Bye everyone, thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe.